Well, hello, welcome to the channel and thanks for joining me. So today we've got another mystery on opening. Actually, it's, uh, it's a mystery to me. I think that was Toya Wilcox that sang that, wasn't it? Um, but um, I don't know what this is. I'm just gonna try and open this up gently. At the time of opening, I don't know what this is. You will know because of the description on the video. And I couldn't see an obvious, I couldn't see an obvious way into this box just now. So forgive me, I'm just trying to do this as best as I can, whilst without trying to cut my arms off with a knife. So there's a lot, a lot of tape on here. I just want to cut through just far enough so we don't do any damage. I mean, it's, it is great when people use good packaging and lots of tape, but obviously you've got to find your way in at some point. So here we go. So this is only obviously a small unit, um, probably a personal stereo of some description. We've got a few Sanyo personal stereos coming in at the moment, so it may be one of those. And uh, we shall find out shortly. I'm just gonna get rid of a bit more of this tape. And it shouldn't be too much longer. Be careful there, there's some uh, there's some staples sticking up there actually. And uh, we don't wanna get those in our fingers. Right. Perhaps I should title this video, uh, Man Spends 10 Minutes Trying to Get Into a Piece of Paper. Right, here we go. We found our way in now. So, yep, small unit, some sort of personal stereo, as I say. I'll just check the box. There's like a little nest in there. So, uh, yep, no mice have jumped out. No power cables or anything like that. Okay, good. So, a bit of bubble wrap and we'll be in. There we go. Right. Almost there, folks. Almost there. There we go. Oh, it's like past the parcel, this. So, at the box, at the bubble wrap. Well, I've got to say, it's nicely... Ah, oh, I think I know what this is. Right, almost there. So it's a Sanyo, 1980s Sanyo personal stereo, I reckon. Made in the uh, 1980s in Singapore. Now, let me have a look at this one. And there she is. So, this one is, as you may well be able to see, hopefully, but the MGR 59. And this is the, uh, this is the, the version with the tape and also got the radio built in as well. Some of these just had the, uh, the cassette tape. Some of them came with, with the cassette and the radio. Some came with the cassette with the EQ. Some of them came with the cassette, the EQ and the radio. So I thought it'd be quite good fun to get all of them on the channel, feature them, uh, see what they sound like, see if they even work for a start. I mean, this one's quite basic insofar as it only has three, well, two transport buttons and a stop really, play, stop and fast forward. So if you did want to uh, re uh, listen to your song again, not only could you uh, not rewind it, you basically had to take it out, turn it over, fast forward it, take it back out, turn it over, and then press play again and hope you were somewhere in the right place. No counter on this, of course, either. So uh, proper 80s, doing everything the hard way, but that's what we did as kids. I had I had the very basic model without even the radio on it. Um, didn't have money for the latest fancy Walkmans or anything like that. So uh, so this was kind of the way we rolled back then. But anyway, um, the belt clip is, is nicely intact. The battery clip is certainly appears to be Held on, there we go. Um, the connections for the battery seem pretty clean as well. So that's good. I'm gonna be careful with putting this back on. I don't wanna force it because it felt a little bit tight um, and that's how you end up breaking the tags. So I'm gonna be doing that carefully afterwards. Um, but yeah, so you've got your DC in there and it's only, uh, I think it's a four and a half volts because you've got three AA batteries in there. Anyway, so um, that's the, the residue. I thought from the picture when I bought it, I wasn't sure if that was discoloration on the plastic, but it's actually originally a made in Singapore sticker that was on there. So that residue can come off. Uh, and as usual with these um, Sanyo ones, they've got a lot of wear and tear 
just general kind of uh, fading and scratches across the top. So we'll polish all of that up and get that looking nice again. We'll go through it, check it all works, clean it up, um, clean the heads and everything inside. And um, yeah, make sure the headphones work and everything else. So in, an, in a future video coming up soon, we'll, uh, we'll plug this in, we'll give it a good test. We'll go through it, give it a damn good clean, polish it up and have a good as new. So please do subscribe, hit the notifications bell for updates and I shall see you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.